Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Izati Aina binti Muhammad Harman. My student ID is 2022758759 and I'm from D1BA2324 C. So, today I will present about crowdsourcing. What is crowdsourcing? Crowdsourcing involves seeking knowledge, goods or services from a large body of people. These people submit their ideas in response to online requests made either through social media, smartphone apps, or dedicated crowdsourcing platforms. Some of those involved in crowdsourcing are paid freelancers, but depending on the nature of the knowledge or services requested, most people perform this task on voluntary basis. So, in crowdsourcing platforms, I already registered with five platforms. I'm sorry, with the five platforms. The, the platforms are Freelancer, LinkedIn, Guru.com, Upwork, and People Per Hour. I used these five platforms in this semester to be a part time of freelancer. Next, for the registration in the online payment gateway, I registered PayPal. What is PayPal? PayPal is an online payment system that makes paying for things online and sending and receiving money safe and secure. When you link your bank account, credit card or debit card to your PayPal account, you can use PayPal to make purchases online with participating stores. I have registered and completed for all the five crowdsourcing platforms which are Freelancer, LinkedIn, Guru.com, Apple and people per hour, but I often use freelancer platform for finding the clients and the jobs. I completed all these five platform with fill in the personal details, my skills that I professional in it, and many more. In the freelancer, I also fill in the portfolio, whereas all my job or contest that I have been joined uh, into the category. So that is easy to make client judge me either I can do their task or not. In proposal, First thing first, uh, before I want to beat the job, I need to check and read the instruction for two to three times to make me understand the instruction given. So that if the client given me the job, I can confidently do the task without any problem arise. If I confirmed with the job, I need to write the proposal to the client. It is to make client assess me either I suitable or not to do their task. The proposal is very important, so the freelancer must write it wisely if you really want to do the task. So these five examples and description proposal, description and proposal for the task that I have already do. the proposal okay next I will talk about bidding and work application bidding project that already do for this semester is 45 bits and sorry 45 bits project and 24 contests sadly in all the bits and contests that I have already joined is no award and no income earned but I am grateful because I got the stars the clients read me through my contest that I joined. For the star rated, I got all three contests that are rated from 34 contests. I got one star rated for one contest, I got two star rated for one contest, and I got three star rated for one contest. The highest star rated that I got is three star only. Next, in conclusion, in conclusion, first thing first, I will talk about SWOT analysis. They have 
four things, which is strengths, weakness, opportunity, and treats. Okay, first, the first one is strength. First is, it is the ability to pick uh, their clients, jobs, working hours, and many other factors. Second is, freelancers like me have a diverse set of talents and knowledge to offer to the clients. Uh, third is, I have the potential to earn more money through this platform. Four is, it allows me to be to broaden my skill set. Next is weakness. There are four things that I experience when doing this platform. First is income insecurity because projects are not always regular. Second is I am responsible for finding clients and negotiating contracts on my own. Third is I am accountable for my own financial management. Four is it is difficult to communicate because the freelancer and the customer, I'm sorry, the client are in a separate time zones. Number four, sorry, number three is opportunities. For the opportunities, it has the potential to raise freelancer demand across sectors. Two is I am, I am able to deal with clients from all around the world. Third is I have the opportunity to expand my professional network. The last one is treats. The first one is due to competition, I must separate myself by demonstrating these things, abilities and expertise. Second is to reduce the risk, I need to expand my client base. And number three is I must confront the difficulty of striking a balanced work-life balance. So, in conclusion, uh, finally, I agree that uh, the five crowdsourcing platforms that I registered and joined, such as uh, Freelancer, LinkedIn, Upwork, People Per Hour, and Guru, have been highly helpful to me and have presented uh, me with extremely useful information. Also, performing as a part-time freelancer on these platforms gives me valuable experience that I can leverage and utilize as a platform for me to enhance my talents and interests as well as provide a fairly lucrative side income for myself if I am really focused and able to manage my time properly. The last one, uh, this is the overall the presentation today are in this poster. I think uh, that is all for me. Thank you for watching and cooperation. Bye!